Hey guys, and welcome back to episode number 23 of Dragoneth Dragon Mounts. And, uh, before we get started with the real part of the episode, I just came up on this while exploring. Like, what? <laughs> there's a village in the jungle, because there's a plains right there, and it glitched out pretty hard. And so this whole thing's in the jungle, and I want to screenshot where we are. Bam, we're pretty far away. But, you know, we could come back to this someday. I don't think I see any... Oh, lag spike. I don't think I see any, um... Blacksmith. I just thought I'd show you guys, because it's pretty cool. Got a road that's even running through right here. Very cool. Very, very cool. Just never seen the game glitch out that bad before, but it's very cool. I think that a jungle village would be awesome. It'd be something I'd totally love to see in Minecraft, but you know, whatevs. They doing cool things. So, anyways, let's get back to the the base, and we'll start today's doings. Hey guys, and welcome back to this wonderful episode. So. Let's run on down here. I have a plan. I grabbed one of the dragon eggs that we possess, and it's time to hatch. Hello, friend. Don't touch me. Okay, he's gonna be an issue. You did go away and died in a terrible place. All right. Do I have torches? Nope. Hold on. Is there any coal around here? Around this joint? So prepared. I always am. There's some coal. Thank you for your XP. One. Oh no, and I don't have a pick that can break that. Wonderful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's just go up here real quick. I've done a lot of work, and you'll get to see in just a minute. First, I want to start hatching a dragon, because it's about time that we do. Did I look at an enderman? No. I didn't look at him, so you can screw off, buddy. Alright, let's take that. 16 will be enough for sure. You just need to be able to see what we're doing. Get my food. I got the food situation looking pretty good. I did a lot of killing of the cows and the breeding of the cows. Uh, I also added a wheat farm. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. First, let me get back down here. And I want to hatch this sucker. Should be doing this right. I'll show you. Place you right there. Right there's good. Alright. Just for now, this is the little setup that we have. What we're going to be doing is making a. Um, this is going to be a ghost dragon. I think it's the closest thing to what would be good for an elven dragon. And you'll see when it's all grown. Um, so I'm going to hatch this guy real quick. We have to knock out the lights. Can't be any light. I'm even going to get this guy right here. Because there cannot be any light. So I'm going to knock it real quick. Just click. And it should be a ghost dragon. And I will now go back up. Sorry about the no light, but that's got to be how it's got to be. Alright, now I'm going to go up here and we can do a little looking around at the new things that have happened around here. First, I'll show you the wonderful wheat farm that we've been working on. Just a little wheat farm, just to uh, just to kind of have. I feel like I need one because of a lot of reasons. One to breed up cows, which I still have been doing. He sees us. Oh, they can track us from so far. Hey, you're gonna trample. Don't trample, retard. Thank you. Alright, but yeah, just a little, it's a pretty sizable wheat farm, it does the job, get a lot of cows from that, 
you know, it's pretty good. And um, we're also going to take Beastie back home. Uh, but I'll do that off camera because I'm going to have to boat my way back. And uh, before we take a look up, I'm going to show you this real quick. Um, done a lot of work on this guy. Um, looks very good. I'm very happy with this. Uh, I think that's as tall as I wanted to get before I start putting branches. There's going to be three three giant giant branches that come out. One like that. One that kind of go, goes out like that on the other side. And then another that comes out like that. Like that. And so it'll be holding it up, and there'll be a pretty wide open spot uh, where the tree and the branches meet. So I think I want to put some stuff in there that the elves, the elves are using and stuff, that kind of a thing. Um, yeah, that's the idea. And then right here, put that roof in. I think that that looks great. Very thrilled with this. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with this, actually. Um, instead of doing stairs, I just put half slabs because it looked too dainty if it was just the stairs like that. So I put half slabs on the bottom. Uh, and whenever I had stairs in there, I tried stairs, like two, like stair and then a stair under it. Uh, it looked way too farmish. <laughs> so this is a very happy, happy medium. Love it, love it, love it. All right. And what we're going to be working on today is a little glass wall thing right here. But I want to get a couple of things set up first. So I'm going to take a quick commercial break and I will be right back with you guys. Alright guys, welcome back. And little cute pie, ghost dragon has just hatched. Ooh. He gloweth. He gloweth through. We're going to let him sit down here and we're going to let him grow all day while we are out there building away. And also, we're going to need a name for this little guy. So that is for you guys to decide. Leave that in the comments. Um, I'm in no rush to get a name really. So I'll wait like two or three episodes probably. And I will pick my favorite one. And we will have a dragon. So we're going to let this little guy grow. And... I'll get working up on there, so I will be right back with you. We'll probably do a couple updates on him as he grows, but be right back. Alright, just doing a quick little update on this guy. He grew quite a bit. Getting bigger by the second. And I'm going to update you again in just a minute, whenever he's probably full grown. So, be right back with you. Alright guys, welcome back. And... So first, gotta tell you, uh, I don't think we're going to be doing any building today, but you are going to get to see some new building that I've just done, phenomenally. I gotta find my location. But, the good old ghosty dragon's all grown up, <laughs> like a beauty. He's freaking awesome. <laughs> like, he's seriously, seriously awesome. Look at this guy. His face looks bigger than the other. Than the other one. I mean, that looks bigger than Beastie, don't it? Alright, so, I'm pretty... Yeah, you do raw fish, I think. I think that's what we did last time. Yeah. And then he should... Do we have particles on? Video settings, particles, minimal, all. Oh! Wait, he's glitching out. He's not taking... Just take all the fish. I don't want to get rid of them all. You extra love us. And then, bam. Yes. Oh my gosh, look at the saddle. Ooh. Okay. Now here's the thing. We can't get him out by flying him out, so we're just going to have to take damage outside, I think. That will work. Take damage outside and you should teleport to us. That's the goal. Not 100% positive, but that's, uh, that's how I've seen it done before. But first, let's just take a look at what I've done, and maybe he'll teleport to us randomly. Um, actually, you know what? I want to I want to jump off something real quick. We're gonna jump. We're gonna jump, and uh, if he teleports to us, that'll be really cool. Let's go right here. Boop. 
Teleport? No. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. He'll teleport to us soon. Um, oh, worthy of mention, I found that saddle and a spawner that is directly located below there, and it's also got another spawner that's tied right next to it. There's a zombie spawner right there, and then like a like 10 or 15 blocks away, there's, or no, actually, it's a lot more than that. It's like 30, 40 blocks away. Um, there's a spider spawner. It didn't have any good stuff in it, though, so not worthy of mention, but that's what I got from it. A silk touch was freaking awesome. Name tag, that was super awesome. And uh, speaking of that, you guys, I know last time I said I was going to leave the name up to you about what we were going to do for the, um, what we were going to name the dragon, and this time I'm actually going to leave it up to you, because last time I didn't. But, here's what we've been building. How cool is that? Front entrance window. The roof will extend across. That's the goal. And then, um, I don't know what I want to do about that little block that's showing right there with the roof. Don't know how I want to work that. But, I think it's going to be okay. Um, okay, I really need to get the dragon up here. It's kind of a need. Need situation. Jump again. We jump. Dragon. I'm gonna continuously take fall damage. And he's gonna he's gonna teleport to us. Tony, it's gonna happen. It's gotta happen. Eat up. We need to be healing. <laughs> oh, that looks really good from right there. Look at that. That looks super epic. Wow. Everything looks so much cooler from far away, in my opinion. Usually, like, big epic mountains always looks cooler when it's super far away. Like, who? Oh! Well, fall damage. No dragon. Dang. Okay, I'm going to work out a way to get him up here, and then fly him around a little bit. Sound good? Alright, guys. Welcome back. So, oh, do we hear a fool? No. Kind of hear a fool. Skeletal fool. You down there? No. Alright. So. I got that guy. <laughs> and I dug this giant hole to get him out. He's all saddled. He is tamed up. Because I went and I fished up some raw fish. If you don't know how that works, you get raw fish and you feed them to them. This time it took, I think, like three. So it's not. It doesn't take too many. Um, <clears throat> and then he loved me. I stuck a saddle on him, and now he's all tamed. He's all grown up too, and dug this giant hole so that we could get him out. Because. No matter how much I tried, he would not teleport to me. He would not teleport. I don't know why. He usually, like, has issues with teleporting too much to me. And this time he just wouldn't do it. So, now, we got our ghost dragon. And, I know I promised you guys that I was going to be building on camera, but... I'm a little bit low on time. So, oh, we Steve. Oh, well. We're Steve right now. That's okay. <laughs> but, uh, I built that. That's the extension. The wall, uh, the, uh, the roof is going to come out to cover that, too. And I'll do that off camera. But, uh, that's the first part of this right here. Whenever it, uh, change it like whenever this changes the wall is going to come out across like this it's going to go all the way down here and that's what we're going to be working on very very excited I think this build is just so much fun I'm having a lot of fun with it because I'm able to keep going and be very inspired with it uh, sometimes you just got to take a breather from other places we're not done over there at the castle um, I'll be working on that by my lonesome but uh, I got both sides put in. Look exactly the same. And uh, 
I think it looks friggin' awesome. Uh, so, I gotta do a little talking, too. So, and I'm, I think I'm just gonna fly around on this guy, because he's really cool. But, um, so I didn't upload for, like, oh, gosh, so like, a week or so. Uh, and that's due to the fact that my mic broke. Like, it majorly just pooped out on me. So, um, for some reason it's working right now. I don't know why. But I took advantage, and we are recording. I'm getting a new mic. It's very, very nice. Very, very nice. It's like a, uh, I can't even remember what it's called, but it's like a $200 mic, so it's really, really good. Um, I'm using, a, like, a $20 mic at the moment, so this is definitely an upgrade, that's for sure. And, uh, I'm very excited for it, but my voice is going to change a lot whenever the new mic comes in, I guarantee it. So, if you guys would be cool with that, that'd be fantastic. Uh just gotta let you know though I'm still the same person just a different mic this mic sounds very different than uh, what I actually sound like in real life because of the low quality so you should hear what I actually sound like in the uh, when I get the new mic um, but yeah I had to explain that cuz for like a week I didn't upload that's really really bad this video is gonna go up today um, in between the break of me uh, getting the dragon out from there and having it now, uh, in between that break, the mic broke. So I was halfway through recording this episode and the mic crapped out. And uh, it's working right now, so that's awesome. But it might have been for the good because I had so much going on this week that I can't explain it to you guys. My birthday. Um, my birthday was this week, um, my best friend's birthday was this week, and, yeah, it was, it was very hectic, and a lot going on in my own life other than that, so I just, I, I probably needed to take a little bit of time off of this stuff anyways, so it was good, but, um, I'm gonna get this video up to you guys, I know it's really short this time, but, uh, I really want to get it up to you so that you guys can understand that I'm back. The mic is working for the moment. Um, if it craps out again, it'll be here in about five days. So, five or six days, it'll be here. Um, so, it won't be any longer than that, that you're not going to get another video. But you should have one tomorrow as long as everything's working. I think I'm going to pre record a few episodes just so that we can uh, make sure everything's working and uh, not miss an episode. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this new dragon. He's very beautiful. Uh, sorry that I'm Steve, but um, that's okay. Not a big deal. And uh, we're going to fly over here, get a screenshot real quick. Um, don't forget to try and leave some name ideas. Because um, I don't want to name this guy. Not this time, so. Alright, that looks pretty good. Right there. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe as usual. And I will see you guys in the next episode.